Decision 2013, the candidates are in the home stretch of Virginia's governor's race. Former President Bill Clinton made a hard pitch for Democrat Terry McAuliffe in Norfolk, and Senator Rand Paul went to bat for Republican Ken Cuccinelli in Virginia Beach. But we are on your side with extended coverage from both sides, starting with Art Kahn, who spent part of the day with Republicans. Art? Tom, Ken Cuccinelli got a little help with his bid for governor from Kentucky Senator Rand Paul today. The two appeared together at a rally to get out the vote at the Filipino Cultural Center off Baxter Road at the beach. They talked about a lot of issues, but one of the biggest issues in this campaign didn't come up at all at the rally. Cuccinelli's position on abortion. But both Cuccinelli and Senator Paul did discuss it with me after the rally. I saw the other day that it's not just some of your phone calls the government's looking at, it's all of your phone calls. Kentucky Senator Rand Paul spoke about limiting government's power to intrude on citizens' private lives. But there was nothing said about another issue considered by many women voters in Virginia to be an issue in this campaign. Both been outspoken opponents against abortion. But of all the issues that I heard mentioned up there today, that one never came up. Well, I'm pro-life, so uh, you know I think my opponent has tried to turn that into something, uh, uh, something terrible. You know, we've never had a piece of pro-life legislation pass in Virginia without Democrat support. That we may all not agree exactly when life begins, but the debate's important to have, and I think we could have it in a civil way without mischaracterizing people's position. And the fact that any of y'all let the other side get away with saying, "Oh, we want to ban birth control," is just ridiculous. But there is nothing funny about the impact it has had on Cuccinelli's support from women voters in Virginia. The, the abortion issue is one, no doubt, that has been a drag on the ticket in the general population, and that's because the other side are using scare tactics. Unfortunately, I think the other side is using it to lie an awful lot. I mean, you look at their contraception ad, it's 100 percent false. I'm not going to touch that. We couldn't anyway. The Supreme Court's made that pretty clear. And a state governor cannot arbitrarily deny a woman the use of contraceptives or, or abortion. It's, it's just stupid. Well, why then, if you believe the polls, it shows the majority of women in Virginia are, are against him because of that. Did they support? Because, because people don't understand the difference between state law and federal law. Yeah, and in fact, the Supreme Court has made three rulings that govern abortion and contraception. The most prominent decision, of course, being Roe versus Wade. Both Rand and, Rand and Paul, both Rand Paul, I'm sorry, and Ken Cuccinelli, as you heard in the piece, do believe the debate in this country about when life begins should continue, but on a more civil level. Art content on your side.